What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac, and if you're a fan of good ideas, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future content like this. Today we've got yet another comparison between the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra and the iPad Pro 12.9 with M1. Today we're gonna to be doing some basic benchmarks and comparisons to see which tablet should be best for high performance tasks. We're gonna go through a handful of benchmarks and go through my thoughts at the end. The iPad Pro is powered by the Apple M1 chip, which is a five nanometer CPU with eight cores comprised of four performance cores and four efficiency cores. You've got a 16 core neural engine and an eight core GPU, and you've got eight gigabytes of RAM on the 128, 256 and 512 gigabyte storage models, and then 16 gigs of RAM on the one and two terabyte models. This model I've got in particular is rocking eight gigabytes of RAM. The Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra is powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip, and this is a four nanometer CPU with eight CPU cores, and this CPU is paired with the Adreno 730 GPU. The S8 Ultra's also got either eight gigabytes of RAM with the 128 gigabyte storage model, 12 gigs of RAM with the 256 model, and 16 gigs of RAM with the 512 gigabyte of storage model. This model I've got here has 12 gigabytes of RAM. Both of these chips are among the kings of ARM-based mobile chips, so the general performance of M1 chip and the Snapdragon 8 are going to be the best you can get for the money. The next step up from these are essentially desktop class processors, which the M1 chip technically is. Geekbench 5 is the most common CPU benchmarking application for getting an idea of how capable a CPU is for specific tasks. And any specific benchmark isn't going to tell the whole story as far as performance between devices, but holy cow is the CPU benchmark score interesting to see. Clearly the iPad Pro is dominating the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 in both single core and multi-core tests, but the different in multi-core performance is astronomical. Image processing, text rendering, and tasks like that are done in miles fast faster on the M1 chip. The compute benchmark in Geekbench is used to show off GPU performance for computing tasks, and it's important to keep in mind that the iPad and Tab S8 Ultra are using different computing API benchmark standards, as the iPad is using Apple's Metal API, and the S8 Ultra is using either OpenCL or Vulkan. But as you can see, the iPad Pro obliterates the Tab S8 Ultra in this benchmark as well, and that's no surprise as we know how capable Apple's GPU is inside this iPad Pro. And it's the same GPU being used to render the video you're watching right now. Geekbench ML is another benchmarking application made by the same developers, and this is used specifically to test machine learning tasks like regression, classification, clustering, object detection, and things like that. The first thing I noticed when running this benchmark is that the Tab S8 Ultra took substantially longer just to complete the benchmark to begin with, but once they both finished, you can see that the iPad Pro with M1 has more than double the CPU score for machine learning. When running the same test for the GPU, both devices completed the test in a much closer time frame and with much closer scores. The iPad Pro is still clearly ahead, but not by much, and I was honestly surprised to see these scores come in so close to one another. The last benchmark is for each tablet's respective machine learning APIs. The iPad Pro is using Core ML, and the S8 Ultra is using Neural Network's API. And this is the first test where you see the Tab S8 Ultra outperform the iPad Pro. And that's honestly surprising to see, given how the iPad Pro has performed with all the other benchmarks. And Tune 2 Benchmark is another commonly used benchmarking application that tests everything from the CPU to the GPU to the memory and storage. It's pretty much an all-encompassing benchmarking app that you can use to get an idea of how the whole package performs. It does all kinds of different benchmarks from H.265 video decoding to high-speed QR code recognition. And I think this is the benchmark that will be the most telling as far as both of these devices' overall performance figures. And our results here are pretty interesting if you ask me. The iPad Pro comes in with a score of 1,205,000 versus a very respectable 931,000 from the Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. And when looking at the different benchmark categories, you can clearly see that the iPad obviously dominates in the CPU category, but the discrepancy isn't as severe as I would have initially thought. The Snapdragon 8 is a very powerful chip. And then you can see where the iPad gets most of its lead, and that's obviously from the GPU score. It absolutely obliterates the Adreno 730, which is no surprise if we're being honest. And then we see that the Tab S8 Ultra actually outperforms the iPad Pro in the memory category. And a lot of that comes from the Tab S8 Ultra having a substantially higher random access test score. The Tab S8 Ultra also outperformed the iPad Pro for the user interface score. And it's not by much, but I was surprised to see that 
within the UI tests, the Tab S8 Ultra outperformed the iPad Pro for image processing and data processing, and I honestly thought the iPad would do better than the Tab S8 Ultra for those scenarios. 3D Mark is another comprehensive benchmarking application that's pretty much solely geared towards benchmarking graphical performance. This can give you a good idea of how these devices may fare for the most intensive gaming scenarios or for very graphically intensive productivity tasks. There's multiple tiers of benchmarks you can do, but just based on the power levels the app can detect, it'll automatically recommend the most extreme benchmark here for the iPad Pro. When running this benchmark on both devices, it's visually evident which device is doing the better job here. The iPad Pro is more or less pulling double the frame rate of the Tab S8 Ultra with an average of 30 FPS, which is at least a playable frame rate for a game. The Tab S8 Ultra averaged around 15 FPS, which is what I like to call Chop City. I also did an extended version of this benchmark that shows off how the tablet handles intensive graphics for longer periods of time, and you can see both devices' frame rates starting to dwindle. It's also cool that 3D Mark allows you to see how these benchmark scores rank against other devices that have done this benchmark as well, and the iPad Pro is scoring above 96% of all devices, while the Tab S8 Ultra is scoring above 76% of all devices for this benchmark. Both are respectable numbers for sure, but clearly the iPad Pro takes the cake here for graphical performance within this benchmark. GFX Bench is another intensive GPU benchmarking application that goes through dozens of different tests and in varying levels of quality to give you a general sense of the GPU's capability. And when just looking at the benchmark run, you can see that the devices seem pretty evenly matched in terms of the frame rate they maintain. But after looking at the actual results, you can see that the iPad Pro is once again superior for the most intensive graphical scenarios. And just as a side note, the GFX Bench app for Android is really buggy, and I found myself having to uninstall and reinstall the app multiple times just to get access to the menu. I think it's pretty clear which device is the more powerful tablet overall here, and it's not a shock because, like I said, the chip powering this device is the same chip that I use in my desktop computer to edit all of these videos on the channel, and it's a total shame because I think from a software perspective, the Tab S8 Ultra could do a lot more with the power that the M1 chip has iPadOS simply doesn't deserve the M1 chip, and it's honestly an overkill processor for iPadOS at the moment. But none of this is meant to knock the Tab S8 Ultra's performance. As the 3D Mark benchmark said, this S8 Ultra is scoring above 76% of devices for that benchmark, and for everyday use, gaming and productivity is more than enough for anyone who's looking for an ultra powerful tablet. And I must say the battery performance of the Tab S8 Ultra really shined throughout all of these benchmarks. The Tab S8 Ultra has a slightly larger battery inside than the iPad Pro, and that was very much apparent when going through all of these tests. Overall, both devices are incredibly fast, and despite all of these benchmarks, I think a decision between these two should really be made based on software, because I think both of these devices, and specifically the iPad Pro, are truly pushing the limits of what you can even do within their respective operating systems. But that's about it for this one. Let me know in the comment section which device you would buy for high performance tests between the iPad Pro and Galaxy Tab S8 Ultra. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for future content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.